Okay, we're going to look at how to edit or retouch a negative, uh, or rather a, a, a scanned picture. We have here a, a Holga photograph, and we're going to look at how to remove dust and scratches. When you look at the image full screen like this, you don't really notice, but when we look at it at 100%, the shortcut key is Command Option 0. It jumps into the photo, what the photo is going to look like when we print it. If we go to the image size, we've resized this to 8, about 8 by 8 at 300 pixels per inch. So it's going to be, this is a uh, normal size print for us. Okay, And as I look around, I'm using the mouse to scroll around, but if I wanted to, I could grab the hand grabber tool and then click and drag, click and drag. Let's say I'm in another tool like the move tool, I could just hold the space bar down and it's going to automatically toggle to the hand grabber tool, click and drag, let go of the space bar and I'm back with my move tool. You notice how the, the mouse changes. So we've got some options here. We've definitely got some dust that we want to retouch. We've got a couple of scratches right in here we want to retouch. Um, see this grain? All This is sort of like the grain of the film. That's nice. We like to keep that, but we want to get rid of these little white specks of dust. Let's start by looking over here at the spot healing brush, healing, and patch tools, um, as well as the clone stamp tool, which is two under that. The shortcut key for the clone stamp is S. The shortcut key for the any of these guys is J. If I've got the patch tool selected, if I hold shift and then hit J, it'll scroll through the th four options. Okay, Let's start with the first one, the spot healing brush tool. The spot healing brush tool is great, uh, it, especially for these open spaces like the sky. If I click and drag that around, it's going to look at the area that I'm clicking on, and it's going to look at the areas around the area that I'm clicking on and it's going to say okay what's different and try and get rid of that difference it works okay right you can sort of see the effects of it so what I'm going to do is actually undo and step back so we can try another tool now what we forgot to do was copy the background layer that's the very very first thing we want to do so we can just drag that down we have a background copy I'm going to rename this dust and scratches. Okay, so I know that that's the layer that we're working on, the dust and scratches. Just for review, I'm going to click that so it goes away, but that layer is still there. It's just that I'm putting away the layers palette. Okay, so the next step, uh, the next option over here is under the spot healing brush tool is the healing brush tool. And the healing brush tool is great. I'm going to use the left bracket key to make that smaller, but I can also go up to here and choose a smaller size. Okay. And um, the, the healing brush tool, as opposed to the spot healing brush tool, you tell the healing brush tool by holding down the option key to get the little crosshairs. You click uh, and hold option. You click with the mouse where you want to sample from. In other words, I want to copy from this area. Then you move your mouse, and uh, it's going to take that sample area and and uh, move that into, so option click, the area that you click. Okay, You can either choose a line where the crosshairs are going to move with you, okay, or unaligned where you're sampling from the same area every time. Okay, No matter where I move, if it's unaligned, it's going to sample from the area that I op option clicked last. If I click aligned, if I go here, it's going to stay with me no matter what. You can see the crosshair, the little X. Okay, So you can see sometimes as I'm dragging it over here, it doesn't really work that well. So I've just done a bunch of bad stuff. That's why we do the layer. We can always throw it away and start over. So that's the healing brush tool. And then here's the patch tool. I'm going to copy my background layer again. Rename it Dust and Scratches. And the patch tool, it makes a selection. So you click and select the area that you want to retouch, and then you drag it to the area you want to sample from. So it works not unlike the Healing Brush tool, 
accept that you make a selection and then drag it to the area that you want it to look like. So in this case, I would take this, drag it over here, and then it's going to match the tone or the color as best as possible. The clone stamp tool will copy, and that's way too big, so I'm going to use the left bracket to make it smaller, and I can go right bracket to make it bigger. The clone stamp tool is going to copy exactly what it sees. So let's grab an area that has some detail, like let's say this grass. And I'm going to option click the same way I do with my healing brush tool. And then I'm going to copy that up here. And there's no, it doesn't do anything after I let go. Let's do the same thing with the healing brush tool. Okay. Option click down here. Now, with the healing brush tool, you see it gets lighter after the fact because it's sort of looking at the area around trying to match the color and the tone. Uh, the, the stamp tool, clone stamp tool, it's going to copy uh, exactly what it sees to wherever you copy, option click to select from, and then you can uh, set it to where you want it to go. All right, all of those are great. Look at all this dust though, there's way too much dust. So here's a little trick that you can do for dust and scratches. So once again, I'm going to delete that just to make sure that there's nothing going on wonky. I want to include everything. Copy it again. Dust and scratches. And then I'm going to get real tricky here. I'm going to open up my history palette. I'm going to do it from up here. Window, history. And it's going to pop up right over here. I've got my history. This is everything that I've done um, so far. Okay. And uh, what I want to do, there's a little camera at the bottom of the history palette. I'm going to click that camera. It says create new snapshot. You'll see snapshot one show up at the top of the history palette. Then I'm going to go into filter, noise, dust and scratches. I'm going to reset my radius to one and my threshold to zero. Pick an area where there's some dust increase the radius until that dust goes away, one pixel at a time. One, two, three, four. Four is looking pretty promising, actually. All right, but notice the rest of the photo looks totally weird and funny, and sometimes if you've got it, like this is a really big piece of dust right in here. Um, you can turn the preview on and off. You can see that big piece of dust might need the, a patch tool or something like that. So what I want to do is get most of the average dust, which is kind of up in this corner, some pretty good average dust. Turn the preview on. Um, I'm going to increase that radius to four, but the rest of the photo looks totally janky. So what I want to do now is increase my threshold until that grain starts to come back. All right, but the dust doesn't. So you can turn preview on and off. 36 is too much in this particular case. As is 28, you can see right over here, you can sort of see so preview on preview off we're getting pretty close with 23 I think that's probably where we want to be notice check this line out right here as I turn the preview on and off so even though this is a really pretty good setting I think 4 and 23 I might even go to 5 and 23 okay this line it's not you know, it thinks that's dust, and it's not. So that's, that's why we do our snapshots. So let's just go ahead and choose 5 and 23 for now. Click OK. So you'll see dust and scratches show up. After you do your dust and scratches, click snapshot, scroll up. You're going to see snapshot 1, snapshot 2. Click snapshot 1, select it so it's blue. Put the history brush in snapshot 2, sets the source for the history brush, grab the history brush, which is right under the clone stamp tool, and now what you're going to do is, I'm using the space bar to get the hand grabber tool, nice big smooth brush, and I'm going to just paint the areas that have dust. So it basically is doing, it's telling those areas to do the filter that we just did. Now you always, always, always want to retouch looking at your picture at 100 percent. All right, you can't really see what's going on if it's zoomed out, so command option zero gives us at zero, uh, 100 percent. And especially for these areas that are out of focus, I can maybe, you know, with lots of dust, I can just kind of start brushing across the whole thing. So I'm going to go through my whole photo, especially with these out of focus parts. Maybe I'm going to do some more 
in here because you can kind of see that. Something like this with this large scratch. Maybe I'll take a clone stamp tool and edit it. But that's the basics of dust and scratches with the history brush, okay? You can get a lot done in a short amount of time by using this technique. Okay.